Family, what's going on, man? Welcome to Friday. I'm excited. I'm excited. A whole lot of things going on in my heart today. Man, the streets are hot with just stuff that's really happening out there. I just want to share some stuff that God put on my heart really quick. You know, I was reading the Bible um, last night, and I brought my Bible this morning. I wanted to read in Psalms chapter 64 real quick. Uh, David was actually in the middle of, of kind of running from King Saul at this point. King Saul was trying to was trying to kill him, right? So in, in Psalms chapter 64, if we start in verse 10, it says, Let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart praise him. Now check this out. He was afraid because somebody was trying to kill him, right? And in the middle of him actually hiding in exile, he sat down and he said, let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let the upright in heart praise him. How in the world can somebody who is living in so much fear at that particular point sit down and say, let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Make sure that the righteous take joy. Be glad. Not only be glad, but go and run to God. And when you run to God, make sure that you are giving him nothing but your greatest of praise. Really? In the middle of actually having somebody wanted to kill you, that's the thing that you want to say? That's the, the, the message that you want to break off? So basically he's saying that even in the face of death, give God praise. Even in the face of fear, Give God praise. Even in the face of things falling apart in your life, give God praise. Now, check this out. If you go back to verse 1 in Psalms chapter 64, it says this. Hear me, O God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Now, there's a little bit of a breakdown there. I like the word I like the word that it says here, uh, protect my life from the threat. Certain uh, forms of the Bible or certain translations of the Bible said protect my heart from the fear of my enemy. See, here's the thing. A lot of times in the middle of fear, we do some irrational things. In the middle of fear, we do crazy things. So what he's saying is, David is saying, protect me from my fear. Don't, don't protect me from my enemy so much because I'm in the will of God. But protect me from my fear because my fear would allow me to operate in areas that I or in ways that I don't usually operate. We have to have faith in God, not fear. We have to have joy in God and not fear. We have to bring glory to God instead of living in fear. Now, it's easy to sit down and read about what David is doing because this is a Bible. I could read these stories all day. But when you begin to apply these principles to your life, I'm saying right now that I know plenty of people that are locked away right now because they operated in fear, not because they were not because they were literal tough guys, but because there was something inside of them that was afraid. And so they acted in a way that they shouldn't act and react. So check this out. I'm telling you right now that in the middle of your fear that beyond what David is talking about, I'm talking about you right there today. What is going on in your life that is causing you right now to start to plan out? things that you normally wouldn't do. I'm telling you right now, do not operate in fear. I'm asking you to invite God into that fear and to calm that storm, okay? You have to be able to learn how to trust the promise of God. You have to learn how to be able to understand that when you are seeking the face of God, I don't care how bad the situation may be, God's going to work that thing out. Fear will be the first thing that will take your joy. But when you begin to learn how to live in truth, God will make everything all right. And he will turn it around and he will take that fear and create one of the greatest testimonies of your life. Don't act or react in ways that you normally would simply because right now you are angry or you are afraid of what's next. Don't make the wrong move. God is coming. Wait on what God wants to do. He's going to make everything all right in your life. I guarantee it. In the name of Jesus, man. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful Friday. I'm going to talk to you real soon. Peace. 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 Oh, oh, oh. You know, Boogie Balboa, man. All the social media stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All of the, all of the usual suspects. Come on, find your boy, man. Share this video. Thank you so much for the love. God bless you guys, man. Peace.